Okay, so in this video we're looking at Edexcel S2, January 11, question 1. And this question is about using the binomial distribution and approximations. So, a disease occurs in 3% of the population. State any assumptions that are required to model the number of people in a random sample of size n as a binomial. Okay, so we're told that it's um, got a fixed number of trials anyway, so we don't really want to be using that one. So it's the other two statements that uh, we need to be aware of. And one of them is that the occurrences of disease, occurrences of disease are independent. Okay, that's one of the key features of a, a binomial, so we need to be aware of that. And secondly, that the probability is constant. Okay, so the probability of catching the disease is constant. Those two things are really, really, really quite important when we're discussing. And of course, we're going to get a B mark for each of those. So, using this model, so if we're going to use a model, we really could do with stating what the model is. Okay, so X can be modelled as a binomial. Uh, okay, so we're dealing with a sample of 10 people and a probability of success of 0 0.3. Okay, 3% of the population. And we're asked to work out the probability that X is exactly equal to 2. Now, by stating the model, you actually get yourself a mark. So it's always a good idea to write down what it is. Okay, and then the calculation is 10, combination 2. We have two successes, so 0 0.3 squared. And we have um, 8 failures. So that is the calculation we're going to do. That's going to give you a method mark. And then calculating that, will give you your accuracy. We're then asked to find the mean and variance uh, of a sample of 100 people. So it's worth now just relabeling. So we've got 100 people and again a probability of success still of 0 0.03. So for a binomial the expected value is simply n times p. So that's 100 times 0 0.03. Okay, which will trigger um, a B mark for this particular question which is 3, and the variance for the binomial is NPQ. Now we've already calculated NP, so we can just get away with multiplying it by 0 0.97, which is then going to give me a second B1 mark. We're then given some more information. So he the doctor decides to offer all patients a vaccination to protect them if more than five people of the sample have the disease. So we're asked to use a suitable approximation. So we have some choices to make. Okay, so firstly, NP we've calculated is less than 10 because it's equal to 3. We know that the expected value is equal to 3 and we know that the variance is equal to nearly 3. So because expectation and variance are nearly the same and NP is less than 10, then the binomial to the Poisson would be the most appropriate. So we can actually approximate this to a Poisson 3. And what we're trying to do is the probability of y being greater than 5. So we want the probability of this occurring. Now, of course, we've got to switch that round. And to do this, we then need to be using our Poisson tables. So for a Poisson of 3, less than or equal to 5, this one here, y is less than or equal to 5, is 0 0.9161. So I want to do 1 minus that value. Okay, so it's 1 minus 0 0.96, uh, whoops, 0 0.9161, which is going to give me 0 0.0839. Okay, so we've got three marks here, so let's see where they're allocated. You get one mark for using or recognising the use of a Poisson distribution. You get a dependent method mark then, so you have to make sure you're using the Poisson. You get a dependent method mark for using the table and doing one minus that a probability from the correct column and then you get your accuracy mark for the correct answer at the end. It's very important you get the appropriate approximation here.